Our, our next fly is going to be one of the Columbia River specials. It's a cicada. And uh, we can call it the purple beaver cicada because we happen to tie the body with a new age chenille called purple beaver in the color. So we'll give it a dub new name called the purple beaver cicada. Now the cicada is an interesting fly that is found on very few places. It's found in the Columbia Valley here around Castlegar Trail, BC. And uh, it's an interesting bug. It's actually an orchard cicada. The pupa lives in the ground for a good seven years before it crawls out and hatches into an adult fly. The adult fly lives for who knows months. It mates and then it dies. So it might have a lifespan of maybe a couple months in the summer. And uh, if you're hearing clicking noises and you can't find a bug, you know it's the cicada bug. It's the orchard cicada. Uh, how am I going to tie this? Well, I'm going to use a 4X or 5X long hook, usually a size 8. This is an R74 or an R75. I'm using some 6 aught thread, black. I want it to... Uh, kind of blend in the color that I'm using here. My first step is I put on a little short tail and I'll use maybe a Hungarian partridge tail. What I do is I take a feather and I just bunch it together, squeeze it together. Now that'll give me a little tail fiber. I'm gonna trim that off. I'm going to trim it so that I can just put a short stubby tail on there. Now, we have that short tail sitting there. The body is going to be this chenille. When you look at the body of this cicada, it has a gray hue to it. It has black marks, gray hue. So I'm going to tie this new age chenille and I'm going to wrap it again. I happen to have a rotating vise so I can wrap it back and forth. And you'll notice what I did was I went back into the middle of the body that gives me a kind of thicker body in the middle. Kind of the way a body looks, it has a little, most bugs are like this. They have a tapered butt and they have a fat middle section and then they have a neck. And that's what I am sort of tried to create by wrapping the chenille back into the middle and back forward. Okay, our next step on this one I'm going to put thread on the base of the hook because if you don't put thread on the hook base, the material spins on the body. So I like to put a little material uh, thread base. Now, I happen to have another product that I use and it's called June Bug Flashaboo. And this is going to be under my wing. So I'm going to add it right now. June bug has colors of blue, green, brown. It's a flash of blue just to catch the eye of uh, any fish that, or the light that hits it, so that when the fish sees a bug, it it kind of excites them to hit the fly. It's sort of like uh, the prism of a. of a spectrum light. When the light hits the prism, it changes colors. Well, so does this, this material. So I'll put that on. Now, I like it to come 
close to the back end of the hook. I'll just trim off a little bit of that. Okay. I happen to have a special material that I use for the wing. You can find it uh, on all the cicadas I use. I've cut it to a certain uh, shape. And I will add this to the back of my fly. The way I've made it, it's going to sit on top and lay flat. And we'll clean that up and that'll sit there just like that. When you look at the bottom, you'll see lots of flashaboo and flash on that. That'll give you the added wing color, a little more realistic to the real insect. This fly uh, dubbed as salmon fly by a lot of people that I've met in the uh, in the 30, 40 years of owning this fly shop, I I was I rate I rate at first, and then I thought, okay, I got to figure out what's going on. Why this insect is called a salmon fly, and it's not a salmon fly. It's a cicada. So after researching and doing more research, it's it's actually an orchard cicada. And uh, one of the few areas is this Columbia Valley of where it's found. And uh, it's really an interesting bug that it happens to hatch every year now, but it, it was... Uh, It is a seven year cycle bug. Okay, I've attached a black hackle. This is gonna look like the legs on the insect. I'm gonna take a handful of peacock curl. This is gonna be my thorax head, so to speak. And I'm gonna add this material to the head. I'm gonna wrap it to give myself a, a good solid big looking head it's going to give us it's going to give us uh, a different look and another thing peacock the fish do like peacock the color of it i guess the the way the light refracts and the way it looks on a bug on a hand tied fly for years it's been a favorite for fly tires i like to add it to the head if you give it a half hitch, your material won't fall apart when you go to... Now, I don't mind a real buggy looking head. So I don't mind webby hackle when I create and wrap it around the head of this fly. Be a little bit uh, sensitive on how you're wrapping it because you want to wrap it without it falling apart. You want a good buggy head on this thing. There we go. I, uh, I like the black hue on the head. I like the peacock looking through the hackle. This whole bug looks very buggy. Now, a lot of people fish it floating. I've uh, fished with a couple of guys on this insect. We fished it on a floating line. I've actually had possibly my best luck fishing with a full sink line down 20 30 feet in a run as a bug that's on the bottom of a river and uh, it's totally these bugs will fly in the heat of the day they have good uh, 
trajectory, flying over land and everything. As, and for some reason, all these insects are drawn to water. As soon as you fly over water, it's 10 or 15 degrees colder. What happens? The bugs flying along, all of a sudden, ooh, it's cold and I have no flight. And they spiral down and land in the water. Now this is a big bug for a fish. They actually look for these a certain time of year when they start hatching. They hatch in May, June. That's the first ones on the heat of the summer when you get four to six days of heat, they'll actually hatch. And they start looking for mates and they start flying around. I don't know what they're doing, but they'll fly over the water and they'll land and the fish really look for them for insects. And often if you've caught fish and cleaned them and you'll see a half a dozen cicadas in their stomach, so they must be targeting them. Certain areas, they come and land in the river. So this is an important part of our bug activity in the Columbia Valley here. And uh, a certain time when they come out and hatch, there's people looking on telephone poles, on walls, the hottest part of the walls. This is attracts these flies. For some reason, they really like heat. So they will actually be part of the picture when you're looking for insects and hatches for the Columbia River. It's a terrestrial bug. It crawls out of the ground, crawls up a tree and and then hatches. So there's the orchard cicada, like you can call it whatever. Uh, we'll dub it the name because it's tied with this uh, new age chenille called purple beaver. We'll call it the purple beaver cicada. And uh, there it is. Thank you very much. That's the fly of this week.